Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? All right, so let's jump right in for Scorpio. Regarding the person that Scorpio is dealing with or connecting with, what do we need to know for Scorpio spirit? What do we need to know for Scorpio? What do we need to know regarding this person and what they're thinking, feeling about Scorpio at this time? What is their main overall energy when it comes to Scorpio? What is this person's main energy towards Scorpio? Oh, I got two. Three of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. Okay. So a departure of some sort is relevant here with the Eight of Cups. Three of Pentacles is about working together, collaborating. Someone here could have left a job. That, that would make sense with these two cards. So I feel like your person, when they think about you, they're thinking about a departure. A departure that happened, a departure that is happening, some sort of separation perhaps. And maybe they want to work on this. Maybe they want to rebuild. Or perhaps they're realizing something about this departure now. You know, like working through whatever this departure was about. Let's get some more. Spirit, tell us more about this um, overall energy that this person has towards Scorpio. Thoughts, feelings, energies towards Scorpio at this time. Oh, the Two of Cups. All right, so yeah, this is someone that I feel wants to work on a connection, Scorpio. Wants to work on something with you. Uh, maybe they left a situation with the Eight of Cups. Let's see, let's clarify this Eight of Cups. Spirit, why is the Eight of Cups here? For Scorpio. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. So they could have left a commitment, walked away from a commitment. It could have been a commitment with you, um, or you need to walk away from a commitment because I don't feel like this Eight of Cups is necessarily, like it doesn't have to be your person, the one that walks away or the one that walked away in the past, right? could be that that's something that needs to happen now in order for you to be together you know I don't want to like jump to conclusions or anything but when you see these energies as they are right here there's a lot of ways to interpret them so I'm trying to fit all the different scenarios here because this is a reading for the Scorpio collective so there's more than one of you watching more than one of you that this could resonate for and all of you are dealing with different situations let's get some energy oracles out maybe we can get some insight through that Spirit, tell me more about this overall energy for Scorpio. This is the second edition of the Stellar Energy Oracle, and it is available now on my Etsy shop. It's linked down below if you're curious. All right, energies, please. When it comes to this person and their feelings for Scorpio. Wow, budding romance, new love, romance, courtship. Romance is in the air feelings here especially with the two of cups and looking inward reflection solitude planning yeah so i think that this is someone that is thinking about something that may have already happened lasting promises at the bottom of the deck some of you a marriage is relevant or like a long-term commitment is relevant here because lasting promise is a card about commitment longevity you know long-term relationships marriage etc Let's get some more insight, please. For those of you that are interested in entering the giveaway, um, I will be having each of these decks linked down below so you can look at pictures or videos of them and see which one you want to go for. And then to enter to win, you have to comment on which deck you would want. Um, okay, so let's see. Can I get some more insight on this person's energies towards Scorpio? Okay, we have Princess, Divine Feminine, and Magic Lamp, Wishes, Choices, Desires. 
hmm, the plot thickens because I feel like someone is realizing something about their connection with you, Scorpio, wanting a new beginning in love with budding romance. This is a wish, a desire that they have. Um, but I feel like there's an obstacle here with this Three of Pentacles, like this departure. And I'm trying to figure out like where that comes in. Because something happened, the Eight of Cups is here. This is about leaving something behind, walking away from something. And it came out with the Hierophant, you know? So it's almost like, what needs to be worked on here with the Three of Pentacles? What needs to be, you know, rebuilt? Because the Three of Pentacles is about working together to complete something. And we have the Two of Cups here as well. So I feel like all of this is connected, but I don't think the Tarot is telling me the whole story. What message does this person have for Scorpio? What's in their heart space when it comes to Scorpio? What messages do they have for Scorpio? Seven of Cups, options, choices, a bit of confusion, trying to decide what to do here, many ways to go about something. This person could have also been led astray by illusions. Maybe they didn't see something clearly. And the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like this is someone that has held on to an idea of you or an I something to do with you. Maybe they're realizing you're the one for them. Because the Four of Pentacles is about holding on to something you value. Can I get one more, please? One more for Scorpio. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. And the page of swords so this person i feel like they want to talk to you because there's many ways to interpret this but when i see the seven of cups and i think of the and i see, with the four of pentacles i think of someone holding on to something they value and there's a lot of ways they can do that um, there's a lot of options doors possibilities here as to how someone can um, protect what they value hold on to what they value um, but then when I see the Knight of Swords, I start thinking that this person's thinking about what to say, how to say something, how to frame something, um, how to open up. Maybe they've been holding back, you know, a little bit because they're bit, they've been guarding something. Um, and so now they want to kind of open up about it with the Knight of Swords. But I feel like they have something to tell you with the Knight of Swords, some sort of honest message. Now, the Knight of Swords is very kind of sudden, quick. Um, the delivery is not like the best delivery. It's not like a Knight of Cups, but it's definitely honest and direct. So I feel like this is someone that's thinking about the message they have to share. And I think this message is like, I don't know. I feel like they've been thinking about this message. It's, it's like more than one message, <laughs> more than one thing that they have to say. Let's see, let's get some PS I love yous so we can get some more insight into what this person would want to tell you, Scorpio. What is this message about? Spirit, what is this message that this person has for Scorpio? What is this message that this person has for Scorpio? What message? do they have for Scorpio? Thinking of you, okay, so they've been thinking about you, about what to tell you. What message do they have for Scorpio spirit? Destiny will help us find each other. Okay, so you're not together uh, at this time. It's about coming back together. Can I get one more? What is this person's message for Scorpio? Looking back. Yeah, this person has been looking back at the past and thinking about you. Unwavering love is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is definitely someone that you're not together right now, but they haven't stopped loving you. Their, their love is unwavering. No matter what has happened, they're still involved. They still care. They still have feelings. They still see you as their person. Um, but I feel like there's like a magic element that would need to happen for you to be together destiny will help us find each other 
And then we have like wishes, choices, desires with the magic lamp. So almost like you need an assist from spirit to come together here or for, you know, like serendipity, a lucky break, a, an opportunity, a miracle that allows you both to come back together. And let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments, Scorpio, because I feel like there's an obstacle here that the tarot is not telling me because someone walked away in the past, something happened in the past, and I don't think you ever like fixed it. You know, I think it's still kind of a thing that needs to be possibly like discussed. You know, someone's like looking back at the past and reflecting. We have looking inward here. You know, they're like reflecting, thinking, figuring things out. And I think that this could have been a commitment, a marriage, or maybe it had the potential to be a lasting commitment and something happened to disrupt that. And this person is focused on communicating with you. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Swords here with the Knight of Swords. What is this person's intentions? What are their intentions, Spirit, towards Scorpio? The Sun? What are their intentions towards Scorpio? What are this person's intentions? towards Scorpio. The Ten of Pentacles, my goodness. And we have Strength at the bottom of the deck, Leo Energy. So I feel like their intentions are to have it all. Um, <laughs> like this is definitely like having everything, happiness, joy, celebration, um, fulfillment, but also the Ten of Pentacles is stability, long-term stability, material success, financial stability, you know. It's, it's like this person wants all of this that's their intention is to have this with you and that's why the three of pentacles is here three of pentacles would definitely work up to this point can i get one more for this person's intentions what are their intentions when it comes to scorpio or this connection oh i got two Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles again. Yeah, I feel like their goal is to talk to you, Scorpio. Like they obviously have a message for you um, with the Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. But I think it's more than just talking because I have the Knight of Pentacles here, which you can't see. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles here, the Three of Pentacles showed up. So it's almost like about talking about the future that's what i'm getting here someone's looking back at the past and thinking of the future and i keep getting this message for a lot of the signs i think it's something's happening astrologically to like make all of this happen but it, it, you know it, it's like i feel like this person's going to open up like they have, they have they're opening up to you in some way um admitting that they've been thinking about you and then that's going to lead to now now what what next right because they want it all with you. They want, I mean, even if it takes a little bit of time to get there with the Knight of Pentacles, even if it's a slow going process, um, they're, they're willing to work on building it. It's what it sounds like. I'm not getting any wands here. This is like, seriously, like most of this reading is Pentacles and like swords. <laughs> uh, so I feel like this is more about work effort and dedication. You know, like slow and steady with uh, honest communication being like at the forefront. So I feel like this is what's going to get everything started. Some sort of message from this person could be a DM, social media message, text, phone call. Um, and I feel like that's going to be, uh, I don't know if you're expecting that. I don't see anything here that would tell me that you're not expecting that. It's more like reassurance in some way. Like um, I'm almost getting like a lot of you already know this deep down and this would be like confirmation. You know, they're, it's like their message will confirm what you already know, you know, that they've been thinking about you, that they wanna be with you. But there's obviously an obstacle here. And, and for some reason, your person isn't really thinking about the obstacle. They're thinking about more optimistic, opportunities, wishes, you know, granted desires, choices they have to make that leads them to getting like success at the end of the day. But for some reason, if there is a huge obstacle here, they're not thinking about it. 
that's not in their planning. It's almost like that's already over or they don't think it's going to be a problem. And I don't know if they're right about that, but that's just the energy I'm picking up here. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. This is what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, don't forget, if you're going to enter the giveaway, to read the description box. All right? And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.